ready to be sold at the stock market or jeweler. Well, you know what? That's alright, because I didn't put a ton of new gold into this because it's actually kind of hard to find, so I need to scale up my operation so I can find more of that. But that sounds like a problem for next time. Here's my brilliant idea for today. Since we, for the first time ever, have a mostly unjambable operation, and that should make it very easy to build a large amount of all of this stuff, working my way all the way down to the end. Simple enough to start, we need 12 swords, which apparently is more than I have. Then we're gonna buy ourselves a workbench and also a screwdriver. Not really sure how this works, but I'll figure it out eventually. Also, this works better with money. Pretty sure I left a few dollars somewhere around here. If I was smart, I would have just driven my vehicle here, but I'm just not smart. Is this by chance enough to cover the $1,610 I need? Did that include the pallet? Because it would be nice to carry this all at once. Alright, trucks are almost obsolete already. Huh? 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 Uh, until I try and put everything in the back of the truck, wow, it actually fit. And then we're going to put this in a spot where I'm least likely to run it over. And now I guess we just start making some swords. I hope I can divide one iron bar enough times to make everything I need. Does that work? Can we just keep stacking these up forever? Oh, it got smaller. Probably can't make swords out of that. Maybe we can. What happens if I keep doing this? Interesting. That's kind of fun. Because I don't have enough trouble keeping track of my stuff. It never said they had to be valuable swords, okay? Very cheap metal swords. Now, does it work? It does not. Did one of the things fall off? Maybe that's a problem. It does work. I think it just kind of makes little swords, but it didn't specify what size we needed. Little swords it is. Let's maybe be smart for the first time ever and lay those on a pallet. For some reason, the game doesn't like me making them any smaller than this. That's four so far. Next time, I'm going to be smart and cut the metal bar inside the fire. Because then all I have to do is remove them, put them on there, hit them with the hammer, rinse, repeat. I might actually be able to do this with one single iron bar, which seems very weird to me, but we're going to make it work. I've already broken something because these aren't heating up properly now. In case you were wondering, that is what 12 swords looks like. Now let's figure out what exactly we're supposed to do with these while also removing a bunch of crap in the back of my truck that I don't want to play with today. One order of danger coming up. Do I have to put them in here? So this is currently locked because I need 12 swords. I have 12 swords. Do I do that? And how do I get that? That's mostly really all I'm after. I get how this is going to work. I put the recipe here. I put the bars over here hot and I use the screwdriver to create what I want. Maybe the swords are too small. This doesn't seem to work either. Is this saying I need to make a size 12 sword? Is that too small? Because this is 1.24. If that's the case, this is not big enough. Here I thought this would be a straightforward thing for once. Let's bring a scale back with this. That might help give us some answer. A single sword weighs 1.86 according to this. Maybe if I make a full-size sword? It's definitely a lot bigger by comparison, so this might be the size we need. It's so big it doesn't even fit, but yeah, according to what I'm seeing, this should be big enough. Alright game, do you think this is going to work for you? 139, that's, you know... Good enough, right? Yeah, that seems to have worked. I mean, it took the sword. Did that work? Did I unlock it? I feel like nothing changed. Nope, never mind. It's letting me leave with this one, so that means it's paid for. Which works out great, because I'm way too lazy to try and figure out how to steal stuff right now. So we put huh? that, uh, huh? Huh? there. Then we just need three hot bars to make a candle. Where am I going to find some ore? Also, what are these that are a different yellow from gold? Is this like super gold? I don't know. It was just spitting out the end of the conveyor, so I guess it's a new material. Probably a pretty rare one because I only found this much of it. Anyways, we can use this for a little bit of cleanup because I need to smelt some stuff. And it won't take long at this rate. In theory, the less material we put into this, the better, because we're just exchanging weight, not value. So that's good enough for me. We'll cut this bar into three, turn it into a candle. And we're going to keep everything nice and close. One, two, three, and then boom. Okay, we might have only needed one gold bar to do that, but we now have this thing. But let's go see if the dinosaur boat is happy with this. I can straight up sell this stuff too, and it might be pretty valuable. Later on, we might make something out of new gold, but let's get some recipes first. I, uh, yeah, it's this way. Definitely faster to drive. And that weighs 18.89, and this is asking for 12. So now we get the teacup blueprint. Uh, teapot apparently next we're gonna need what exactly a teapot with weight 18 all right that should be easy enough you think we can make a teapot out of power crystals uh, i'm gonna start storing uh, extra blueprints over there probably a few extra power crystals in there we'll turn this into a bar whenever you're ready i've got all day there we are one crystal uh Yep, thanks for being in the way. We'll see if this actually heats up. I get the feeling this probably isn't going to work because this doesn't huh? seem to be heating up. But you know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Nothing. 
Maybe we'll try gold, though I think this is trying to tell me iron by its color. But if I give the game a gold teapot over an iron one, you think of it as like that. Okay, it does want to be picky. One iron bar it is. This gold isn't good enough for this game. Maybe than I thought. What does this thing weigh? If I was seeing that correctly, it was sitting at just over 18. I didn't really see that properly. I assume it's big enough. No one in the world needs this much tea. It won't even sit in there, it's so big. Okay, you? Huh? Please sit where you're supposed to. I might just have to be quick. Okay, got it. Not sure how big that was. That was an iron bar I had lying around for a while, so that might have actually been really big. Now I can make a shield out of gold. I need one that's 16 big. I realized some of those blueprints, the ones up top, are for making pipe. That might be what that new material is, is something to make pipes out of. Not really sure why that would be worth it. Though one could argue that nothing I do is ever worth it. So I'll move this one into storage. And then we wait. Hopefully this is going to be big enough. I think it needs to be 16 weight. And it's not working. Is that not gold? What is the other one? This one was gold. They look different. Huh? The one I'm holding is iron. This one's gold. This one must be that new gold. So let's go collect whatever that we have. Uh, not sure if there's anything in this currently. I'm not going to take all of this because I assume it's fairly rare good we're keeping it nice and organized i just want to see what it turns into i don't want to lose it all right now it sounds crunchy i don't know why it sounds crunchy but we'll find out what it turns into shortly and kind of get the value of it because of everything we've produced so far which has been mountains of gold we've only found less than 100 of these it does smell down into something so there's a new bar of some kind what is this worth by itself out of curiosity 1435 interesting what is it worth if we turn it into a shield I'm seeing an awful lot of wood for something that is made out of, I don't know what, 35, 1507. I think the value went up slightly, but I'm very proud of my creation. Let's go trade it in for more crap. We really need to make a bigger bucket uh -huh. here. Every time I turn drop something in, it falls right out. But yes, that worked. We now unlocked, I think, a cage. But there's no children in the game. This appears uh -huh. to be made out of the same material. But is this new material worth more or less than gold? A nugget of new gold is worth 143. A nugget of old gold is worth 87. And it's even a bigger nugget, so this new gold is worth more. I'll just put this back where I found it. And I have pretty limited amounts of this, so I'm going to try and get away with this much for now. Hopefully that's big enough. Now a cage, a very expensive cage, looks like that. There's no way I'd ever put my kids in something this valuable. And now we get to unlock the battle axe. If it was only the smallest bit bigger, 19.72 out of 20. It's not big enough. Seriously, it's that close. Can we just round up? I'll bring you something better later. All right, well, I guess we need a new one of these huh? things. Huh? Huh? And I guess when I get back home, I'm going to fire up my entire operation again so I can continually mine this new gold. But I should have enough here at least now to get a weight 20 cage. Pretty happy at this point my operation runs itself so it doesn't need a lot of babysitting. I can keep crafting my stuff and the stuff should mine itself. Eventually, we will add more drills and we will add lots of them. We are going to check the weight of this bar before we bring it over there this time to make sure we have enough weight. Because I think we needed 20. I've already forgotten. This one, however, weighs 22... No, this weighs 50 pounds. So I'm way over, but it's worth $2,200. It'll work. Now we can get our battle axe. Well, I found at least a few more of those while I was away at the shop. I've also added an auto smelter for super gold. So that's going to make my life a little easier. I wasn't at all paying attention to how big of a battle axe I need, but you can never have too big of a battle axe. I seem to be finding lots and lots of materials so far. And hopefully lots of that is new gold. I just pulled out a piece of dirt in there and let a whole bunch of dirt fall in at once and the game lagged really hard but I found a bunch of crap. I probably should have designed it where I can kind of keep track of how much new gold I'm getting but I assume there's lots. Well that's hopefully enough. Ooh the game lagged pretty hard doing that but this has got to be a big bar. Never mind it's 19.75. I'm gonna smelt that back down and we're gonna wait for more. I know I saw at least a few more pieces of new gold get into this. Yep we're up to about 32 pounds. That's got to be big enough. Unless this is for your mom then it's just never big enough. But that might work. That's kind of fun. Kind of want to see the value of this before I sell it. Might be hard to see $1,500 for 32 pounds or whatever this stuff is. It'd be fun to make a giant pile of these at some point. That's going to be a hard one to weigh. This requires a battle axe of 28. I'm really hoping the 32 pounds would ever translate it into a full weight battle axe. 
Now that we have this unlocked, I don't know if I'm going to bother with any of the pieces of pipe right now because I'll just buy them because I'm rich. I do want to see the blunderbuss though, I really do. Alright, just shut everything down. I should have a few more pieces of this stuff. A few still bounced out of the way because of my design. Is there really only one of those? Nope, there's more. I just can't get anything into the hole. Anyways, now that we have this, let's see exactly what the blunderbuss is. It's going to look something like that. That's pretty interesting. Can I shoot stuff? Nope, it is purely for decoration, but I can sell it at the stock market. I wonder what blunderbusses are going for these days. These have to be reasonably valuable, given that it takes a while just to unlock this blueprint and then they're made out of the hard to find new gold. It doesn't really have a price for this particular item, but it's worth apparently zero dollars. It doesn't want my blunderbuss. 